Hop in YouTube. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Straight Rebel coming back at you, man, with another reaction video. Hope everybody's enjoying the weekend. It's Sunday, last day of the weekend, man. Hope everybody's enjoying it, having fun, uh, enjoying the weather. It's hot as hell here in Arizona, Arizona. So it's just best for me to stay in the crib. I ain't gonna lie, off rip. But I hope whatever, wherever y'all at, y'all weather ain't crazy hot, crazy freezing. Cause man, kind of sucks to be stuck in the crib. But Rest up, heal up before you gotta go back to work, for sure. But we got another crazy one to get into, and this one we got we got a mother and pregnant daughter arrested after using Kool Aid packets to steal. I gotta read the rest. They're using Kool Aid packets to steal from what? So they use Kool Aid packets to steal, or they were stealing Kool Aid packets. That's two different things. <laughs> but, bro, that title is insane. But let's get into this video, man. Comment, like, subscribe. Let's get into it, y'all. Y'all know what to do. We've all heard wonderful stories of family bonding, where mothers and daughters share unforgettable moments like walks on the beach or even picnics. Well, in this case, officers were called to an active shoplifting scene where a mother and daughter were seen on Walmart CCTV engaging in what's known as skip scanning. Skip scanning is when a thief goes through the self-checkout lane and only scans the items they want to pay for, stealing the rest of the items in their cart. So they, they're just scanning Kool-Aid packets? Oh, wow. When the officer arrived, he noticed the mother and daughter only paying for the items they scanned and not the items they stole. He waited patiently before they left the store to catch them red-handed. He just, just followed him, just right behind him. She really thought that she can, <laughs> she really thought that she was going to just be able to be like, oh, you know, I don't even want this. You can't check my purse. I don't even want this no more. She thought she was going to just, just flip it on them like, all right, well, okay, since I didn't pay for it, I don't even want it no more. Y'all can keep it. Like, no, that's not how it works. Like, you get caught, y'all go through a procedure. You get put in handcuffs, especially because you didn't even, I mean, she tried to deny it, but the denial was... The denial was horrible, and her daughter's face said it all. Basically, like her daughter's face, basically said like, "Oh, she, like we got caught, bro." We, <laughs> and she looked like her daughter pregnant. What kind of example you setting, yes. bro? Okay. Okay. Just follow. Go with them. Go with them. Go with them. I need you to come here. Place your hands behind your back. I'm not going to jail. I didn't say you're going to jail. I said you're under arrest. No, that's oh. Sir, you cannot you touch make me. This. I can't. You are under arrest. I did not go nowhere. What does he think she going to get to? I did not go nowhere. What is wrong not with you? Get your you hands off of me. Arrest. Okay, get your hands hey, off of me. Officer. You're hurting me. Officer. You're hurting me. You need to back up. She's she didn't, pregnant. She didn't leave. I didn't even go that's nowhere. I'm not messing with She didn't leave. And this is where... This can go totally wrong because the mom needs to just face the reality that if she was doing something wrong, just 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 take that L. Because now you got your pregnant daughter into it trying to defend you. And once the cops feel like, oh, you're gonna put hands on me or you're trying to stop whatever I, you're trying to stop what I'm doing, and I know that. What you all did was wrong, and I and I got to do my job. Then you start putting your child, you putting your, you putting for one, you putting your own body at risk. Then I'm talking about you're pregnant, you putting your child at risk. Her mom, 
<laughs> bro, all types of bro. Her her mom just deserve whatever she gets because you already because you're putting your daughter into the situation. You should be telling your daughter it's okay. Go over there. I'll I'll deal with this because they literally don't even see, like they want you. They want you, they want your mama. So you should be thankful that they don't want you and you'd be going to jail pregnant. The door. Okay. Therefore, you can't grab one. Okay. okay, can you let me go? Let go. No, I cannot. I okay. Can yes, you can. You're under arrest. No, well, she's not under arrest. She didn't leave out the I didn't door. even go nowhere. Watch out. Get off her. Okay, get, can you just let me go? The no. Phone? No. no. What you, what you Bruh, can you just let me go? Can you stop, please? I need her to leave me alone. Stop. Okay, Kyra, stop. No. The Kyra, stop. Okay, Thank she's you. pregnant. Please let me go. And I, I will No. Stop. Why are you squeezing my arm? Get my phone and record this. No, he can't do nothing he did. You just walk out the door. Okay. Get off of her. I'm not even doing nothing. Get off of her. She I'm didn't not, go out the door, so I'm not, not even doing convention. nothing. Let her go. I'm not even doing you have nothing. Your item, so you have to let her go. She is pregnant. Okay. Okay, you real simple. You guys are under arrest. No, you're not in charge for theft. Put your hands in front of you. No, you're going to take right. handcuffs. Okay, can you? Okay. It's not up for debate. Stop. It's not up for debate. Stop. Get the fuck up. Okay. Get the fuck up. Then stop okay, resisting. Okay. Get off of me, bro. Stop okay. resisting. Okay. Move. Okay, let me call you. I'm get offering off the handcuffs. Do Get not interfere with me. Stop it. Get off of me. I'm trying to not hurt you. You are under arrest. You are not in charge of this. Exactly. I'm gonna just <laughs> there's so many so many scenarios that go down, but it's like for one, if you pregnant and you doing this type of stuff, you said no, you're setting the worst your your child not even your child not even brought to this world yet and you just said the worst possible example. You know your child gonna see this later on down the line on YouTube and be like, Well, oh, mom, she got arrested. Wait up, wasn't that around the same time that I was that's what you was out here doing, mom was <laughs> like dead ass. Like that's 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 what's gonna happen. But just off purpose it's like you know you're pregnant and you think you're gonna get away with stuff. Trust me, when before you I mean, trust me, the time you think you're gonna get away with it, you're not gonna get away with it, and it's not gonna end well. You put yourself in this predicament being pregnant and you wanted to steal. If you want to steal, by all means, do that. But you're pregnant for one. And then on top of that, you want to fight. You want to put up a fight with the cops. And you're pregnant. You're not thinking. You got a, you got a whole life in you. And you trying to fight. Trying to fight with the cops. Like, they're going to really give you up. And they're like, they're, like, they're going to really be like, okay, bro. She, she's pregnant, man. She, she's pregnant. Let her go. <laughs> Why do you do that at, bro? Where do they do that type of stuff at? I don't know. You tell me. But, yeah, you stupid for putting yourself in this predicament, being pregnant and stealing, and your mama ain't no better. Now I see where you, well, now I see where you get it from. <laughs> Off red. Stand up for me. Put your hands on your back, okay? Put your hands on your back. No, no, yeah. Get off of me. I didn't do nothing. Get the fuck off Help them. I don't know what you got her? Yep. Well, move. Get off of me. I didn't do nothing. Get the fuck off of me. You're under arrest. Let's go. Move. Get off of me. I didn't do nothing. Get the fuck off of me. Don't touch me. Three. Yes. Okay. 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 You didn't have to do that. You would slice her eggs, man. Head. You ain't I have to do that. Everything. And I recorded it. Black people don't got no wrong. Okay. You want to pull this leg in? Yes, I, I just want to make sure my daughter's all right. Well, your she daughter's is. out there. She's, She's walking out. Okay. Just... And these mofos in, in Walmart, 
<sighs> bro, this whole I'm I'm sorry, like recording recording and stuff like that is cool, and it's like I understand the whole recording thing. Like if you didn't do nothing wrong, if you're literally like like people that get pulled over by the cops, they didn't do nothing wrong. They be having the dash cams. They be knowing the law. That be like people that actually be catching like the cops and lies and that be doing all types of weird stuff. You know, those type of people that, you know, recording by all means, because at the end of the day, that's saving your life. But situations like these, you in Walmart and all of a sudden you stopping your shopping and stuff like that from what you're doing. That sh ain't got nothing to do with you whatsoever. You need to get your groceries and keep it pushing. Go grab your little snacks for your kids. And go grab whatever little cheap shit is in Walmart that you need and take your ass home, bro. Dead ass serious. Like all this, like recording stuff like that. I understand they black, you black, I understand that. But you need to think first thing in your mind. The cops ain't in there just fucking with nobody. The cops is not just coming into Walmart to just fuck with anybody. They they're not. You think the cops want to? You think the cops want to be coming to Walmart randomly and just messing with people? Walmart of all people, come on. We we already know what Walmart is. Walmart's the Walmart's the middle class store for for mobile middle class and low income. Good ass. Target definitely ain't <laughs> Target definitely ain't fucking with low Walmart prices. Maybe during the holidays, but right now it's Walmart. So <laughs> Walmart's getting the most uh, theft and all that. As you can see, people people Walmart's even locking their stuff up in cases and stuff like that. You go into Walmart, it's looking like a it's looking like a shoe store in there because they got all the stuff in cases, like shoe cases. Like that's that's how crazy it is nowadays. So all this recording crap, I need to quit that. Get back to doing whatever y'all was doing. They were stealing. <laughs> you don't want to admit it. You don't want to hear the truth, but they were stealing. Pick your ass on and your camera. That ass. I just want to make sure my daughter's all right. Well, your she daughter's is. out there. She's, She's fine. walking out. Okay. I would have just listened. Okay. I mean, you shouldn't have did all that. She was pregnant. Okay, she still resists. It don't matter, though. If you fighting, you put up for You shouldn't have did that. She pregnant. You shouldn't be stealing. You pregnant. You shouldn't be trying to fight with nobody. You pregnant. You think that just because you think so, so you think that so if a pregnant woman walk up to a dude and start wailing on him, start fighting him, and start punching him, and start kicking him, the dude's supposed to just run away and be like, "Oh my god, she's pregnant! I can't hit her! Oh my god!" Like, no, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna punch her in the stomach, but she gonna <laughs> she gonna <laughs> she gonna get one of those at least. Like, come on, bro. And I ain't don't and I ain't no I don't know. But I just I believe everybody get what they deserve at the end of the day. You shouldn't be putting up a fight, especially with the cops. You're gonna get arrested. You're gonna get taken down to the ground. They can't fight you. They can't punch you. So you're gonna get taken down to the ground. You're gonna get rustled down to the ground. If you're on your stomach, you're on your back, whatever, that's your fault. You should just put your hands behind your back and just you would have got walked out easily. Plain and simple. Oh my God! Got everything. Uh, shoot it. That's the card. I think I'm receiving it. You can leave. Yeah, five twenty-four. You can leave. <laughs> She's <laughs> He sounds like that. I want to do for the thing. You need to leave. <laughs> Bro, listen. You can leave. Yeah, five twenty-four. So I'm going to take it. No, we'll bring it out. Thank you. You can leave. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. That's crazy. They, they ended up from the door all the way back to almost by produce. Did you understand your rights? You understand your rights? Yes, you were under arrest for theft. Okay? It doesn't matter if you haven't left the store. Once you pass the last point of sale. I didn't pass nothing. Hey, well, they have I enough to your high rent. You didn't pass nothing. Whether you are in the store or not. Okay, right, but right, we're not having a court out here. Just go. Okay. Yes. He said, we have a. Oh, my lord. And she got warrants. What the pastor going to come in? I bailed him out. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want the church knowing none of my business. Oh, so we heard you were stealing out there, huh? So get taking taking them Kool Aid packets so you can get that chicken, huh? <laughs> like dead ass, bro. Like, bro, I would never ever like you. I put like this: you don't want your own family members knowing that you were stealing. Imagine a whole congregation, the whole congregation church knowing you stealing. <laughs> Bro, that's all bad. They're placed under arrest. They were stealing. They didn't want to be uh, detained for the uh, theft. He's saying they snitched them out, too. Now they're both going to sign it. He's snitching them out, too. Correct. Correct. And also, Ortega. He said, I don't care. I'm snitching them out. They can, right? He heard, oh, that's you want to know? I'm going to let him know. See my ID. I watched you look through the whole purse. There's nothing in there. I didn't steal nothing. You didn't see me walk out with nothing. Okay. So you're under arrest right now. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney. If you're not for an attorney, the courts will point one to you. You have the right to stop answering questions anytime you talk to an attorney. You also have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You understand what your rights are? Okay. Never have it that way before, unfortunately. Yes. Yeah, I wonder where this is at, because this lot of black people in that Walmart. I don't need the crowd coming out there and causing harassment out there, too. You know? Bruh, nobody's trying to come up there and fuck with y'all. Yeah. I'm not defending nobody that's stealing. You got me effed up. I ain't going to jail because of that. What the fuck? I'm gonna keep it 100. If I was in that Walmart, I saw that shit happening. I'm out of my damn business. <laughs> On everything I love, that ain't got nothing to do with me. And you know what? And you know what? You know, you know, one of the reasons why definitely, I'm definitely minding my business. As long as the cops. That's not a that's not a stranger on the street. That's not somebody just abusing some women. No, that's the cops. Walmart called the cops. The cops didn't just show up randomly out of the blue and see that. No, 
Walmart called the cops. So I'm going to let the cops deal with that situation. And if anything happens with a lawsuit or anything like that, you know who's going to be getting sued? Walmart and the cops, not me. And you know who's not going to be going to jail? Not me, because I'm not interfering in none of that. Plain and simple. That's a lot of black people that go to Walmart. I'll just take it. We'll give them an opportunity to call somebody to pick up their groceries if they want. Oh, gosh. Look. Come on out, ma'am. Okay. You need some help? Yeah. All right. It's going to be a little easier if you can lean back a little bit and okay. get that other leg out. Okay. There you go. All you right. Know, now we can scoot oh. forward. Now you can press against the frame. There you go. Scoot yourself oh, forward. Oh, I can't. Honestly, can't. Woo. Hold on. If you want to be here. She said I would have never took care of that one. What's up, Rowan, man? I'm going to get your purse and stuff. Um, he said my phone is on there. Yep, I'll get it all. all right. Watch your foot, please. Hey, real quick, while I got both of you here, I want to say this now so I don't forget later, okay? Now, understand that what I'm about to say, I tell every person that I take to the county jail. It is not a personal thing. It is not an accusation. It is a statement. Okay? If you have anything on you, any drugs, any paraphernalia, or any weapons, right now is your time to tell The ladder doesn't count as paraphernalia. Oh. Right? In including okay. marijuana. You got any oh, no, I don't see. Right. I'm, again, I I'm not you. making a judgment. I'm making a statement, right? Um, that I think I got once we get to the county jail, it doesn't matter what it is, right? Your ladder is not irrelevant. Okay, do you want to put my keys in my... Uh, I'll check here in just a second. Okay. But if you have any, you know, pipes, any papers... Anything like that, any drugs. Once we get in the county jail, it doesn't matter what it is, it becomes a felony three for conveyance. So right now we can deal with it, you know, on, on possibly like a lower misdemeanor level, depending on what it is. Look like damn. I'm right. like, why? But like, yeah, why? Why are we sitting back here? Like, every bro. person I take to the county jail. is just pay. So when we get in there, like, oh, you know, I had dope stuffed up in me. I didn't know. You didn't know because I, I gave you the opportunity. I have made the statement. Cruiser cameras reporting. My body cameras reporting. Right. Okay. There's no denying that, mm -hmm. that you were that people were given this warning. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Is it about being in the back of the car? Both the mother and daughter were taken into custody. Their skip scanning theft revealed that they were scanning Kool-Aid packets instead of the actual items, totaling just over five hundred dollars. Hopefully this was a lesson learned. And it's not a good idea to steal with your pregnant daughter. By uh, exactly. Anyway, subscribe and we'll see you. Exactly. And he said it perfectly. It's not a bright idea to be stealing with your daughter right next to you. I'm going to keep it 100. If she knew she was going to do that. I'm a well, I'm a. I'm not going to put myself in situation. But if she knew she was going to do this from my perspective or something I, hypothetically I would have done, and I got somebody with me, I'm telling them straight up, you know what, hey, go, just go to the car. I'm giving you the key. Just go to the car. I'm, I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to pay for this. I'll meet you at the car. Because I don't want them knowing and I don't want them to be a part of anything I'm doing. And if it comes down to the fact that I do get caught and they try to go and get them, I'm like, hey, 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 hey. I told them to go to the car. And I told them I was going to pay for this. They have no idea what's going on. They have no idea that I was going to do any of this, period. Because I'm not, I'm not, for one, I'm not the type of friend or person to let somebody go down for some stuff that I did at the end of the day. Now, if you want to go down with it, if you like, oh, yeah, like, even, I'm, I'm still gonna try to talk to you out of it because this is like, hey, especially if you got, you got something to lose. I ain't got nothing to lose. Like, come on. 
But in that scenario, she should have told her daughter just to go to the car. I'll meet you out there in a minute. But no. Dragged your daughter down with you. And now y'all both. Jeez, I, I, if I'm right, I think five dollars is a felony. I forgot I forgot what the what the what the lowest amount is, but five hundred might be a felony. It might be either five hundred or a thousand, but regardless. You don't want to have nothing like that on your rap sheet. You don't want to have. You don't want to be in jail. Period. You don't want. To, you don't want to necessarily come in contact with the cops. This is trying to help you out. This type of shit, you don't want. Period. Because as soon as this happens once, and they got you in, and they got you in, in the, you know, in the computer and stuff like that, and they see you once or twice, it's over. They gonna know you off rip. Especially if you live in a small city, it's ugly for you. Ugly. <laughs> but y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments about this. Would y'all handle the situation like this? Would you have let your daughter go in there, knowing that you're going to steal, and let her stand by your side and go down with you? And would you have talked your daughter out of doing what she did? Would you have told her just to stand down and, and just been a bigger person and just took that L getting arrested? Because if I feel like she probably wouldn't have got arrested if, if, if things would have went different. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments. And uh, yeah, subscribe. Hit that.